foreigners that live in South Africa but want to work for companies in other countries can now apply for a remote work visa. We allow them the remote work visa to come and sojourn in South Africa while they are working for those particular countries. The advantage to the country is that these are high earners when they are working. They will be spending money in the country, they'll be staying in hotels, they'll be hiring people, etc., etc. And that's why the salary they earn is also very important. Nobody's going to get a remote working visa if they earn less than 1 million South African rents in, in terms of their salary. The minister also announced that the critical skills list needed for the economy of South Africa will now be updated as and when needed. Once the profession you have got appears on that critical skills list, which will have been gazetted by the Minister of Home Affairs, and you get a letter of employment, then Home Affairs is forced to give you a critical skills visa. The only change on the critical skills list is that it doesn't have to wait for four years. Any person who can show us that a particular skill is critical. Those applying for a general work visa will no longer be required to go through the Department of Labor. Instead, they will need to comply with a point system. The prospective employer has been unable to find a suitable citizen or permanent resident with qualifications or skills and experience equivalent to those by the applicant being the foreign national. So it means the Department of Labor must be satisfied first that the employer has searched. Now you will agree with me, that's a very tedious job. What we have now done is to do away with this process of having to go to the Department of Labor. We are going to give you a general work visa based on the point system which you are going to allocate. Big Business has welcomed the changes, saying it will fast track the process of getting critical skills into the country. Sumitra Nadu, CGTN, Johannesburg, South Africa.